The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. We are facing a threat from uh, fundamentalists who are speaking in the name of Islam and are doing unspeakable acts. We don't have a strategy to deal with them. We don't even call them what they should be called. And Harris, it is startling to me, and I know we'll get to it in a second, that we are literally disclosing our battle plans and our war plans in advance, giving ISIL a chance to prepare counter plans in a way that just boggles the mind. But Doug, Doug, don't we think this possible theory, if the president mm -hmm. started blasting radical Islam, he's going to tick off the mullahs in Tehran just on the verge of making this big agreement, mm -hmm. which is really the biggest thing, right, Pat? The biggest sellout of American interest ever, in American ever. interest. And it's why Bibi Netanyahu is coming You're over here. You're talking about the deal for nuclear. For the nuclear thing. Right. And, and they, they are deaf. They, first of all, they want this agreement more than anything, he and John Kerry. Their whole time in office seems to be built on this agreement. They don't want to tick off the Iranians. They happily tick off the Israelis. They send five campaign workers to work from the Obama campaign against Netanyahu's campaign. And no one in the media has put all this together. It, it's a, a shocking thing. Right, Pat? Pat? Yeah. What well, happens he if he says radical Islam, Islam, Islam tomorrow? I will drop dead. Right oh, no! Time. He I may will, say it just for that I reason. I will faint. I mean, I would be <laughs> out. Listen to you. Because the <laughs> likelihood that this man, I, this defies understanding of what he is about. You know, it's all, you know, he is the most unvetted person in modern times to sit in the presidency. Uh, you know, I watch questions to George Bush about being a bully, and then they have a story about Walker, he didn't finish college. This man was totally unvetted. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.